very good show out. But what system of, uh, of coordination have you in an emergency? Oh, we have a central control here which covers the whole system. Ah. We'll raise or lower the barrage in a matter of minutes. Oh, I see. Would you like a demonstration, sir? Oh, could I? Certainly. Send out the general signal to lower. Very good, sir. Calling the entire London area. Stand out, division. Reverse and north. Close hold. There you are, sir. Just under two minutes. That's splendid. Not bad, considering the wind velocity. I say, that balloon doesn't seem to have moved yet. Which one? Well. What on earth's the matter with the fools? Sergeant Major, what section is that balloon in? It looks like the Kennywood section, sir. Well, I go to. Sorry, sir. Well, come on, then. What's the number? I think you'd better take a look, sir. Good heavens. This is unbelievable. Send somebody over to that section at once. Find out the NCO in charge and put him under arrest. Put the whole crew under arrest. Very good, sir. It should be fresh. It was only told Peter this morning. I still say it isn't very fresh. I want to see the bus. Oh, you want to see the bus? Sure. Is a woman here complaining about the fish? What is das? Not fashion? Stinking fishing? Got in the himmel? What is dorflers? Scarpa house foul. Is she taking the high count of us? Hey, what? Two meter bits forward. Two meter bits forward. Hey, uh, don't do that. What? I don't want any vinegar. Oh, no vinegar. Sorry, no. sorry. Sorry, Sorry, baby. Two middle bits and no vinegar, there we are. Yeah, you, what do you call this? Well, it looks like fish. Who's in charge here? Take your turn, one complaint at a time. I want to know what sort of fish it is. Well, it's fried fish. I know, but is it had it cod or skate? Don't ask me, who do you think I am? Sir Bernard Spilsby? Now, sir, what can I... Fancy seeing you here. Come out of here, the lot of you! Well, I'm in a sergeant major. Now, send all these people away and line up out of here. What about my fish? They're only half fried. Don't worry. Before we're through with you, you'll be fried to a frazzle. Come on. <laughs> Get into line here. Hit the double. And take that off. When? Go. Who's the corporal in charge here? He is. No, I'm not. I was corporal yesterday. It's your turn. Not likely. <laughs> Shut up, chef. I was corporal last Saturday. I remember. It's Charlie's turn. Oh, splendid. Promotion at last. Would you like me to order them a bath a bit? Get back in the ranks. My mistake. And who's responsible for this pretty display? Oh, we thought it out amongst ourselves. Oh, you did, eh? Yes, all except the balloon. That was my idea. And did you paint the face on it? Only the eyes. He did the teeth. Hey, she might fall as a dentist. What's your winch doing up on that roof? I didn't know she was here. Get back. Where's your lorry? You hear what I said? Where's your lorry? Answer my question, man. Where's your lorry? Well, sir, as a matter of fact, sir, it's been commandeered, sir. Commandeered? Yes, the work of national importance. <laughs> Where the blazes have you been? Billingsgate. Here, hold that. But come back here. What are you talking? Oh, blimey. Sorry, sir. Get into line. Sorry, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. So your lorry was commandeered, eh? On work of national importance, eh? Well, let me tell you, you're for it. The lot of you. But, Sergeant... Silence in the ranks. Get up on that roof and put that winch back where it belongs. And clear that stuff all the lorry. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Jump to it. You'll be court-martial for this. 
Hurry up! Get up there! Hurry up! Get up there! Get up there! Hey, I suppose you wouldn't stop for lunch and do it when the wind drops. Get up there! Hurry up! Get up there! He's a nice so-and-so for you, just when our business was flourished. Yes, what do you want to come here for? Start the machine motor. Sticking these silly old stubs into other people's fish and chips for me. Down with that balloon, you fools, and step lively! Come on, fellas, everybody on this hand will wind it down. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, don't... No, keep me choked, me choked. Well, what did you want to put it in there for? I didn't put it in, it snapped at me. Well, we can't unwind it now, you have to take a choke off. Hey, you! What's going on up there? Well, Cecil's caught his equipment in the mangle. I've got to have me coat. The Air Force comes before your coat. Yeah, but our unity pulls them in the inside pocket. Oh, that's different. We'll have to leave the cable up with something. Sully, you won't get it loose like that. Says, I'll slip the spanner between the cables and you see if you can get the coat out. Wait, go easy, Chess. You're tearing, Chess. But... Oh. Here, yeah, look what he's done to me, issue. Oh, never mind, Chess. You can cover it up with medals. What's that? The witch is pulling under the roof, plates up. Sit on it. Sit on it. Quick. Quick. about to join the Air Force to see the world? Yeah, this well, not the next. Hey, hey, if we only had some parachutes, we could float down in time for tea. Yes, if we all had wings and feathers, we could start laying eggs for breakfast, just swirl. Oh, 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 We've been sailing around for about three hours and the wind shifted six times. It's all Bud's fault. It's not my fault, I didn't shift the wind. No, but you might have grabbed Nelson as we passed the Falga Square. Oh, good garden growth, look where we are. What is it, the certain time? Don't be so silly, Cecil, it's the sea. Yes, and the tide's rising and it's coming up to meet us. Hello. 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 Oh. Boys, we better do something quick. Yes, let's blow up our water wings. If we only had the rubber boat, we could blow it up and roar home. But we haven't got a rubber boat, you silly old sausage. Yes. Yeah. Oh. oh, I know what we do. Let's wind ourselves up to the balloon and climb on top. That's the idea, fellas. Come on, all hands to the windlass. view from here, nothing in sight for miles. Doesn't he make you out of breath? Well, there's the bunny that gets frightened. The bunny that gets frightened, the cat that gets scared. The cat that gets scared? The atmosphere. The atmosphere. Atmosphere, atmosphere. atmosphere. Oh. Hey, Cecil ain't loving your stuff down here. Come and have a go. I'll have a go. Wait a minute. Stop bashing, Cecil. You'll burst the balloon and have us all down. Oh, we want to go down, don't we? Yes, but we don't want to lose the initiative. Isn't it drafty? Here, if we only had some nice windows, we could shut them and keep the draft out. Oh, we need to shut you and keep your draft oh, out. Hold it, hold it. Come back. Oh, oh. Look, fellas, land. Land high. 
Hoorah! Hoorah! I wonder where we are. But the land looks so green, it must be Ireland. Oh, let's go down and get a bit of Irish stew. You can't jump down from here, it's 10,000 feet. Yes, and we'd all split our ankles. Yeah. Airplane. They might give us a lift. Leave it to me, I've seen them do it on the pictures. Charlie's got dimples on his. Looks as if we're here for the night. We can't sleep here. Why not? There's no one under the bed to put things. Well, anyway, we'll sleep soft even if we don't sleep sound. Well, before we turn in, let's say goodbye to Charlie. Why? He walks in his sleep. Hey, goodbye, what's the game? Charlie. What's the game? Goodbye, 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 goodbye. What's the game? What's the Did you hear the planes? I heard nothing here, Major. Did I find this? What does it say? The English. Ah, English. It says, fried fish is good for you. Well, it's more English nice. What's the matter with you, Charles? Why don't you go to sleep? I can't sleep. I wanted to die. You can't get down. You'll have to wait. Oh, I was starving. I couldn't argue something to some sausages or such like. That just reminds me, I've got a chunk of this season's halibut. We don't want to eat raw fish. We'll light a fire and cook it. Don't be silly, Charlie. You can't light a fire on top of a balloon. Why not? Well, the wind would blow it out. Don't be so fussy. Cut it in the sink. I'm not eating raw fish unless it's cooked. All right, cut it into five. Move like a piece of the breast. Oh, save me the parcels now. Right. It's a bit tough, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Quick, somebody sit on it! Don't no, pinch the hole together! Who's got these sandpapers? Sandpapers? Anybody got a safety pin? Who's been the chickadee? Uh, hold your ends together, Charlie! It's spreading both ways! All right, all right! I've only got two pairs of hands! Charlie's falling in! You get gassed if you don't do something! Hey, Charlie, take this and put it on! What was that? Who's that? Who's that? Of the shamrock. If that was a shamrock I fell on, I wouldn't like to fall on a real rock. I wonder where Charlie is. Did he come down with us? There he is. Quick, Cecil, pass me the slicer and I'll cut him out. Yeah. Mind you, don't scuttle him. No. Oh, look, oh, go with the wind. Sure, he didn't order it. Let your breath out, Charlie. It's his out. Grab the coin, he's going up. Go on, Grab it. it. What do we do with him now? Oh, if we only had some dill water. I've got an idea. Don't waste it. We can use that. Put this pipe in his mouth. What for? Never mind. Now you press on his stomach. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, where's that fish? <laughs> Quick. Give him an extra bow for one to drown in a bit. Breakfast! This isn't a fair share. After all, I supplied the gas. <laughs> Objection from Mr. Fur. That's all you're going to get, so stuff it in your meter and read it. Oh. Look what you've done, Charlie. You've upset all the gravy. You are a fat. I hope that's it. Cool, don't you go pitching in Ireland. What is it? I think it's a galvanized oleoc. There must be some first-class manure under here. What is it? Come here! Blimey, look, it's crawled back. What is it? 
Looks like a telescope to me. There's a submarine under here. What would a submarine be doing under Ireland? Perhaps it's taking a shortcut. Here, look, there's a toll. Six English airmen, it is impossible. English airmen on our Siegfried line. Kreutz, Tullabetta, how are they here? No planes have been reported. They must be landing an army by parachute. Arthur, order artillery to drop a barrage immediately. To be Billy Orbis. What happened, Cecil? Hit me, hit me, all of it. What was it? You ought to know. Charlie, where's your manners? You want to retard your spark? Crikey! Aye, aye, taxi! Shoot, do you know what that was? That was a cannon. Yes, and you can't see it now. That's because of the fell off big. Fell off big? Came off large. Came off large, came off large. I said that. Well, what are they doing with a cannon in Ireland? Touch the IRE. I believe you're right. I nearly got a bomb in my cloakroom. Just a minute, give us a light. Plan. What's that? You stay here and cover my retreat. All the guns came apart. Do you know where I think we are? Where? where? The Seafried Line. Seafried line? line? And if we get caught in these uniforms, we'll all be shot. Well, let's get them off quickly. You got us into this mess. What do you want to bring us down here for? Me? I didn't burst the balloon. No, but you sucked all the gas out of it. Shh, quiet, there's somebody coming. Hey, they're not Germans, they're French. Yes. I think this must be the Maginot Line. We come with you. You come with us. May we come, may we? May we, of course we may, if not in French. up a good story. We then go back to England after finishing a balloon. Yes, he's right. Let's join the French army. That's an idea. Instead of being the soup, we'll be in the console me. I do not understand it. According to my information, there are no British in that sector. What is it? Nobus, I have to report 14 prisoners. Six of them wear no trousers. So, the Scotch are here. Go bring those six here at once. To be fair, Hi, boys. Hey, don't forget we're French. Coming in this house. What's he saying? He says, come in the house. Oh, we. Oui. Oh, we, oui, we. Oui. And this little piggy cried, we, 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 all the way home. Ah, shut up. Who will keep a god bus is this? Middle of France. Quiet, quiet, what's that? What's this, the Lord? On Tonte Cordiel. We've come to join your army. Our army? We, oui, we, oui, vive la France. Cherche la femme. I am going to put a few questions to you. You will be wise to answer them. It's an examination. Uh-huh. Then we failed. To what division do you belong? Second division. Second division. Tottenham Hotspur. Hans Feld from Woolwich Arsenal. The French in Woolwich Arsenal? That's his own cloudy. You know the Arsenal? Ah, we. Oui. I used to sell peanuts and walls is there. What is the output of the Arsenal? Eh? Hey? The output. The output. Well, I was output for striking the referee. Oh, shut up. So you struck the referee? Newton in the Allied armies. You. How many men in the Maginot line? Uh, ten million. Ten million? Well, that's including Vega and Gorton. You have not so many men in all your armies. Well, I couldn't swear to another one or two. These men are idiots, not soldiers. That's right, we're six fugitives from a cook store. Are you being insolent, you pig, Charlie? Talking to you. Barker! That's an insult. You will hear from my solicitors. Peabody, do little and leak. Take them to a concentration camp. But I thought they only had concentration camps in Germany. Hi, Hitler. This is Germany. Germany? Blimey, we've joined the wrong army. Oh! You are six short? Six short. Snap. Oh, shut up, Cecil. That's swinging. You can't snap a six with a seven. Swine on! Come out of there. 
Ah, Dr. Liebenstam, I presume. Right, sir, you shall learn. Ah, Now then, Stump, the Führer, with the kindness of his heart, has sent you here and let you live. If I had my way, I stand the lot of you against the wall, and shoot you! Now we know where we stand. Karl Factor! Karl Factor! Who is Karl Factor? Max Factor's brother. Karl Factor! Oh, all right, all right, I'm coming. Why do I have to call twice? You don't have to, I heard you the first time. Well, what do you want? Cut off the button. What, all of them? I can't do this lot for myself. You three, pull out. Tape, remove all buttons. Do we pull them off or bite them off? You have to have some scissors or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, they'll do. They're nice and sharp. What do they cut our buttons off for? Perhaps it's so as we can't escape. Whew. I was afraid it was a nudist colony. Hey, Mr. Smithen, what should I do about this fellow? He's got zip fasteners on his trousers. I'll cut it out. It'll make me a nice tobacco pouch. Oh. No, Kit. No, Kit. If you cut these off, I'm going to keep up my instalment. Are you English? Yes. And they've got to come off just the same. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Well, I can't help it. I've got to do as I'm told, huh? Here, here, here. Mind what you're cutting. That's not a button. You nearly had my thumb off. <laughs> you're not going to cut mine off. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, no, you're not. Why not? I'll beat you to it. Where's the back door? Left turn! Charlie, pull your pants up. Front line, march! Oh, 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 Doctor! Oh. It, it was nice when the left off. Oh. Good, isn't it? That's the initiation ceremony. Does that mean to say we're members? Yes. Good. We'll do a bit of walloping. Oh. Oh. Don't be nervous. Follow me. Oh. Mark! Mark! Oh. We're members now. Oh. Hey, that's why you're failing to... Hands off! You fast six in half fifty seven. In game. Snell. Marsh. Next six in half fifty eight. In game. Snell. Marsh. We can't live here. There's only one floor. We'll all starve. What has one floor got to do with it? Well, if there's no upstairs, how can we come down for breakfast? Ah, shut, shut up. up. Hi. Hi. That's enough of that. That's enough of that. Come on. Bring it up here. I'm in charge here. In you come. Two by two. All right, boys. Follow old Lord into the ark. Hey, how long are we going to stop in this place? Till the war's over. Unless, of course, they have another purge. Do they often do that? Yes. Last time they killed hundreds. Killed them all with a purge? Blimey, what'd they give them? One of them was a friend of mine. Polish inventor. One night they came in and shot him in his bunk. In his bunk? Hey, the very bunk you're sitting on. All right, all right taxi. <clears throat> What did he shoot him for? Because he wouldn't tell him where he hid it. Oh. He's what? His secret weapon. What secret weapon? This secret weapon that he invented, the one I'm telling you about. That's what they were after. Is there a book of instructions that goes with this? No, you'll never guess what it is. An aeroplane that flies a thousand miles an hour. Just the reverse. What, one that flies backwards? No, it isn't an aeroplane at all. It's a machine for burrowing. That's silly, a machine for burrowing. What we need is a machine that makes them pay back. Now, burrowing, burrowing. That's right. It's a big mechanical mole that they put soldiers in. And it burrows underneath the enemy's lines and comes up in their rear. Oh, what a horrible death. Well, there's nothing new in that. They got one of those in London. They put a lot of people in the Charing Cross. It burrows its way under the enemy lines at Hampstead and comes up at Hendon. Shut up. You mean the Nazis haven't found it? Uh, good job, too. If they found that weapon, they'd win the war with it. Well, now they've killed the inventor, I suppose no one will ever find it. That's where you're wrong. There's a map. A map? Yes. Just before they took him, he drew a map for me, showing exactly where the secret weapon was hidden. Well, where is it hidden? Yes, yes. Go on, go on. 
I don't know. Ah. I thought you said he drew a map for you. That's right. Well, what did the map say? I don't know. Have you lost it? No, I've still got it on me. Well, can't you read? Yes, I can read all right. Then you must have looked at it. No, I hadn't. Why not? Because he drew it on me back. back. Why didn't oh, you say so? Oh, it's on his back. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, 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 look. Oh, isn't it pretty? What is it, snakes and ladders? No, it's Switzerland. There's the Alps. Shut up, Cecil. That's his spine. I know where it is. Australia. Australia. I've just seen a kangaroo. There he goes. Oh, get your cold hands off me, will you? Oh, there's a cross here. This must be where it's hidden. Yes, that's what he said. If we could only get there, we'd win the war tomorrow. Yes, I think. There's a word here. S-T-U-T. -T. Stutzberg. I see what it is. It's the map of Germany. Let's have a look at the brain of Paris. Oh. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's the bell. What for? Supper? No, I've got to go to bed. Good, I can do with a nap. I didn't sleep very well the night before last. And I was up early too, the day before yesterday. The bell, Charlie, it's time for bed. <coughs> well, we can't run at this, boys. There's a bunk each. Which is yours? I haven't got one. Well, where do you sleep? Up there. <coughs> what, on this shelf? Yes. <laughs> He's crackers. He thinks he's a row of saucepans. I. You ought to be in bed by now. You want to ask coffee if they find you? Cool. Plenty of room to stretch. Cool. It's scrumptious. Jimmy, bring me a nice cup of hot tea in a fortnight. I don't mind if Charlie wakes me up. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to wake anybody up. I don't want any tea. I just want to sleep. Oh, once upon a time there was a sun up in the sky, and you and I were happy. That was yesterday, and we have left it all behind. Now, what do we find? Yesterday's dreams were born with a smile. Yesterday's dreams just lingered a while. We lived and laughed and the world was all. Then came the teardrops of April shower. Yesterday's dreams are so far away. Gone with the dawn that brought us today. Maybe tomorrow we'll see our dream boat sail into view. And yesterday's dreams will all come true. Yesterday's dreams were born with a smile. Yesterday's dreams just lingered a while. We lived and laughed and the world was ours. Then came the teardrops of April shower. Yesterday's dreams are so far away. Gone with the dawn that brought us today. Maybe tomorrow we'll see our dream boat sail into view. Then yesterday's dreams will all come true. Gainsey Nine, rush, march. Oh, 
about you fellas, but I'm going to sleep on the floor. What? I'm not standing for this. I'm going to lie down beside Chesney. I'm well, normally going to sleep somewhere. Good night, all. Pleasant dreams. Good night, Charlie. Good night, Jeff. Good night. Marsh! Russia! We must be sleeping outside the football ground. Where are you going? I'm going up there to get some What a conglomeration of human beings. I've never seen anything like it. You can't get anything there. Sorry, I'll slip. No, I'm not going to speak. There's no room to sleep. Check in if we have a check. Now, who's a rubber sauce for that? <laughs> hey, wait on it. Help! 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 No. Not this morning, thanks. Yeah. Alfred Doris. Schnell zum Arbeiten. Wenn ich mit euch Sauhunden noch einmal Schwierigkeiten habe, dann lasse ich euch alle an die Wand stellen. Why don't you speak English? They don't understand that stuff. Do you? No. no. See? Very well. Then go and get rotten brushes and clean up the streets. Mama, I speak German. Halt's Maul! Hey, you! Go and prepare the food. All right. I go now. Good. But I come back. Not so good. Hey, did I hear him say food? That's right. Breakfast. Good. Order me a ration of bacon, two eggs, and some English marmalade. Oh, I don't want to do that. Just, you won't get any of that. You'll get Erzatz coffee, Erzatz bread, and Erzatz porridge. What is Erzatz? Sawdust. <laughs> That's a nice thing to fill us with, sawdust. Blimey, if I get appendicitis, I'll have to send for a carpenter. Listen, fellas, I've been thinking about what the old man told us last night. What about being a rose husband? No, about the secret weapon. What, you don't believe that fairy story, do you? <laughs> I don't know, but he couldn't draw a map on his own back, could he? Well, I had an uncle drew a pencil on his wooden leg. Ah, ah shut up. Up. What's it about? Oh, oh. Just a moment. <laughs> Put your pants up, Charlie. All right. <laughs> oh, I see. Throw the line somewhere, you can. <laughs> Stop mucking about, fellas. This is serious. Shut up, Cecil. Because you're saying something about something. If we could only get out of here and find that secret weapon, we'd all go back home as heroes. Oh, if we only could find it, it would not be one of Hitler's brown shirt, wouldn't it? Hitler, that's the fella. Who's got a scrubbing floors? Hitler. Who's going to feed us some sawdust? Hitler. Who's messed up Hampstead? Hitler. Hitler. <laughs> I mean, if I could only get my hands on the old Blitzkrieg just for a couple of minutes. No, it, no, it. Why, what's the matter? The governor himself. Oh, if I only had a gun. What's he doing here? Perhaps he's inspecting the camp. Stop up, boys. Stop up. Look! He's back at his old job. You see, that he's a prisoner here, the same as us. Hoorah, hoorah, hoorah! The war must be over. Charlie, pull your pants up. Come on, let's go outside and tick him off. Look. Now I know. 
know it's a secret. What is it? It's twins. Screws! And I'll tell you something else. He's got this temper. Well, strike me lucky there's a whole litter of them. I wonder what's the explanation of this. I think his father must have been a very busy man. Here, yeah, here's your breakfast. I got your double ration this morning. How'd you manage that? Pigs wasn't angry. Oh, I don't wonder. Here, talking of pigs, how many Hitlers are there? Only one. Adolf the Fuller. Adolf the Fuller? We've just seen Adolf the Fiver and Adolf the Sixer. The camp's full of them. Oh, them? They're Hitler's doubles. What are Hitler's doubles doing here? Well, they all went on strike, so they sent them here for punishment. On strike? What for? What's that? Somebody wants a taxi. There's rows of them. There they are down left. Das ist auch für den Streik. Entweder ihr tut eure Pflicht und habt wieder euer früheres, einstelliges Leben und ihr werdet alle morgen früher schaffen. Das ist alles wegtreten. What did he say? I don't know, but I bet it wasn't three cheers for Winston Churchill. I can tell you. He said they can either go back to work and live in comfort, or stop here and be shot. What is their work? It's to impersonate the Fuhrer at parties and reviews and things. Cool, oh, money for marmalade. Sicher, in den Schnellachtungsschweinhunter. Oh, good, eh? He'll have to be careful they don't rope him in for the job. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Hey, wait a minute. Supposing they did. Did what? Shut him in with a Hitler police. What's the good of that? There's hundreds of them already. Yes, the camp's insanity with them. I know that. But you heard what he said? They're all on strike. Now, I'll tell you where to offer his services. Not me. I'm not going to be a blackleg and get chucked out of the fish fryers union. Yes, don't you do it. It would be out of the frying pan and into the Führer. No, it wouldn't. If he gets fixed up as Hitler's double, he'd get out of the camp. And he might have a chance to find that secret weapon. Oh, very nice. He goes off to reviews and things, and we stay here and he does that. Yeah. No. When Teddy gets the job, he refuses to do it unless the five of us go with him as his bodyguard. You see? Five? Six? I'm going to escape, too. <laughs> Look who's going to be a bodyguard. Oh, you can laugh. I'm the only one who knows where the body's buried. He'll never find a secret weapon without me. <laughs> That's right. He'll have to come. The map's on his back. Hello, Sergeant. So, so what? Show me your back. Hey? Show me your back. But he is back. That's him. Can't you see him? Show me your back. All right, Jenny, prove it. Go out and come in again and show him your back. Yes, I will. Sorry. No, no. Remember what the poet said. Never take a little dog and kick him near the tail. For if you do, some naughty man will hit you with a pail. Yes. Yeah. Look out. Look out. You're tearing my shirt. What are you doing? What did you do? Oh. 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 You done it. We went off, copy. Oh, dear. That's it. Settle it. We've got to get out of here and quick. Yes, but what about the body? Oh, well, we've got to hide it somewhere. Let's blow it up in the mat. Oh, yes, that's a good idea. Yes. Yes. What are we going to do when he comes round? We'll crown him again with a bucket. Oh, He's right. If we get out, we'll have to take the body with us. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I wonder what my mother would say if you could see me now. She'd say, Charlie, pull up your pants. Oh. But what can I do? The obstinate swine say their job is so dangerous they would rather stay and be shot. You must find the way. I tried every persuasion of them. Is it so, Archon? Can you not allow me a little more time? Impossible. It's already arranged that the Fuhrer will be assassinated when he attended the Stutzburg banquet today. Assassinated? What are you saying? Ah, it will be the double who is murdered. The Allies will believe the leader dead. There will be peace terms. And then Adolf Hitler will reappear stronger and greater than ever. Wunderbar. All right? Morning, gentlemen. What do you want? So I've got a bit of news for you about the strike. You mean these men will now obey orders? No, but I think I found one as well. Which one? Oh, you wouldn't know him. He's kind of new to the business. Oh, he's ever so good, though. Bring him in. Yes, sir. All right, you can come in now. Das wollen Sie mich heute noch nicht anders lassen. Ich tue mir ja das in der Staubkauten. Ich blasse tut mir ja noch eine Schulter. Ich schlafe die Wunden deines Hunden. Sieg heil. Ist gut. Excellent. Who are these? 
Oh, really, it's bodyguard. Bodyguard? Yes, I've got to have someone to look after my body. You're English? Only on his mother's side. His father was an acrobat. English. So much the better. Do you mean I've got the job? You have. Now listen carefully. Today you will attend an official banquet. You are being entrusted with the most important duty. You'll remember who you represent. At all times, conduct yourself as the Fuhrer would. Leave him to me. You leave him to me. I'll coach him. I'll make him a perfect swine. Well, you never know the difference. Silence, Doc! You dare to insult the leader? I you. Well, you know, what I thought was that if I was there, I could teach him. Well, not be there. Well, Get up! It was my idea, right? Get up! <laughs> I want you six men to understand what will happen to you if you make one false step. That's all right. We put Rosalind on our boots. You are going to allow this bodyguard? Why not? It may help to give him confidence. Oh, that's true. You will be taken to Stutzburg. Stutzburg? That's the place where the cross was. What cross? Oh, that's a piece of poetry, knows. Ride a cock horse through Stutzburg cross. Enough of this! Attention! We'll be allowed to meet you at the gates in ten minutes. At Stutzburg, you will receive your uniforms and further orders. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Is that all, sir? That's all. Except perhaps to wish you good luck. Oh, thank you, sir. And much will talk to you. I know. Hey, Hitler. Hey, Hitler. Hey, Hitler. Hurrah, hurrah. We're free at last. Here, but we have to report to the police every week. You don't have to report to the police if you're free. Oh, I don't know. My father always has to. Hurry up, you fellas. We've got to find Jerry. What for? They won't let him come out with us. Oh, never mind him. We can send him a postcard. Just a minute. How do you think we're going to find that secret weapon? We've got to get a copy of the map. Oh, yes. I don't know how Chaz and I have put up with you, dumb cop. Jerry? Oh! Mr. Stagg? What? The body. Cool, I've forgotten the call. What are we going to do about it? You can't leave it here. If we only had a trunk and we were anywhere near King's Cross Station, we could leave him in the courtroom. Yes. Yeah. There's only one thing to do. Take him with us. Sal, we'll dump him over the wall. When we get to the gates, you keep the centers talking and Jimmy and I'll put him in the lorry. Look out, Cecily, he's coming around. <laughs> He's gone by. Nip outside, shall you? Keep the coast clear. Now, come on, lads. All hands on the stick in the axe, Minster. <laughs> Hello, Hello from Strasbourg. Very well. Haven't six men reported to you? Now, don't forget to keep them talking. All present and correct, sir. I bet you're going to say we're late. You are late. Hey, I've always wanted to tell you. Hooray! Right. Right. We're very sorry, sir, but as a matter of fact, before we got the evidence from the sides here, I hadn't got the proof. He's sitting here one night and I hadn't got the sides, you see? What are you talking about? I'll explain. It's the castle of the headquarters of the castle, but whatever they were up there yesterday. Yesterday? Yes, we'll hold the castle, we'll hold the big day, hold the big day, and we'll let the glass of beer. Glass of beer? But hence, Charlie, 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 you're wrong. What he means to say is, the fellow with the head gets to the back of him was walking down with the ladder. So I see the fellow with the head and he said, can't go back to do it, see? What are these men talking about? Well, you see, sir, they're trying to tell you they're shoddy their light. Get into your life! Goodbye, thanks for everything. Well, it's just like old times, going in the dear old Black Mariah from Bow Street. Yes, except we're going to Stutzburg, not Brixton. Stutzburg? Gosh, we forgot. What? The map. To copy it off Jerry's back. Tommy, so we are. No, we are in the car. Well, does anybody remember what it looked like? I remember it distinctly. You do? It's a bit of chalk. Draw it for us. All right, all right, don't worry. I'll draw it. Look, see, it came right over there, mm -hmm. you see, and right over here. And that was his backbone. But where's the map? Oh, the map. He's got that. We know that, but what does it look like? I haven't the foggiest idea. Ah. Well, and to think there's an old man walking about with a paint of Europe tattooed on his torso. Well, it was your idea. Why didn't you remember to copy it off the ticky whiskered old scarecrow? Do oh, it! Well, well, so I'm a ticky whiskered old scarecrow, am I? All right, you wait till you want to see the map. I won't take my shirt off for any of you. Good old Jerry. How did you get here? I'll tell you. Call me names behind me back. We didn't mean you. Oh, yes, you did. No, no, we meant some other old twerks. Yes. Oh, well, that's all right, then. What did you do with old Achtel? Yeah, I locked him in a cupboard, big his clothes. They suit me, don't they? <laughs> hoorah, hoorah. Our troubles are over. 
I don't know so much. How are we going to explain him away when we get to the other end? Never mind about me. When they open the van, I'll hide. But don't you worry, I'll turn up again. But when do we start looking for the secret weapon? That comes after the safe deposit in the rain. Safe deposit in the rain? The post office under the water. Post office under the water? Banquet! Banquet! Hey! Send your orders, Baroness. From Heathcliff. The man impersonating the Führer will arrive here at the Rathaus by car at 1 p.m. sharp. The explosive will be in a bouquet, which you will hand him as he enters this building. Supposing something goes wrong. Then we have other surprises in store. Yeah. The concentration camp lorry has arrived at the town back. Excellent. Equip the prisoners with uniforms. And don't forget the... Uh, <clears throat> Führer must arrive at the main entrance promptly at one o'clock. Führer, Führer, creator of the Third Reich. He's among you. Silly, but easy enough. Cecil, here, you take them. Oh, blimey, dandelions. Don't give them to me. Oh, I don't want them. Here, you take them, Charlie. Oh, how lovely. Mm, they smell like Roman candles. Blimey, ersatz. Oh, it's in the way. It's a garrison. A fire salute. Oh, it's a salute. Only one gun. It must be a boy. Mein Führer, the Burgermaster and the burghers of this city beg to be presented to you. We will receive the Burgermaster. Yes, and let the other burghers wait. Führer, this is Burgermaster Bauer, your very loyal servant. Colonel Weiss, Chief of the Black Guard. Well, he's the biggest blackguard I've ever met. Hello. 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 Aye, aye, aye. Follow uh, your leader. With what may I have the honor of serving your highnesses? Do you happen to have the Guinness? Bitter? All right, that'll do. What's the idea? I'm going to have these with me dinner. This is not the fish fryer's salmon out in. Pull it back. How's it? Wrong, Führer? No, no, only I seem to recognize that old uh, admiral over there. I'll bring him over, sir. Look, boys, look who's here. Blimey, any more for the Skylark. Who does he think he is? Captain Scuttle? Mein Führer, may I present to you Admiral von Trumpitz's grandfather? I'll! You are sure this device won't fail? I guarantee it. The discharge lever on the scan is wired to the screws. He is but to lift any of the condiments and. Uh... <laughs> Good. Announce dinner. I know that one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Aye, aye, grubs up. <laughs> yes, General Herman von Schwarzenegger. Whose place is this? Your place, General. Mine? Oh, yes, of course. That's my maiden name. Yes. What are they waiting for? They're waiting for you to sit down, you twerp. Well, why didn't somebody say something? All right, right, come on, come on, come on. I hope they don't say give me pull on the menu. Good, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. If you'll excuse me, Admiral, there's my name on the card. This is my seat. You mean it was your seat, but I'm sitting here now. But I insist. How dare you talk to your superior officer like that? Here, take this. Find yourself another seat. Young puppy. 
Look, pillar box soup. Pillar box soup? Yes, it's full of letters. The funeral has not yet started. I'll spell my name. My dear, I must apologize for the chef. The soup has not been seasoned. I think you will need a little pepper. Thank you. Give me your itch. I haven't got one. Don't be so disgusting, Charlie. Sticking your dirty digits in my soup. It's all right. I wiped them before I put them in. I don't want it now. Take it away. Where are you going with that? The further has finished, Excellency. Oh, has he? Well, I haven't. Put it back, will you? Put it back. Let it go, will you? Let it go. Sorry. Oh, blimey, sorry. He's on the better. Oh, yes, you are, aren't you? I didn't use it. Oh, I'm awfully it. sorry, did he? No, no. <laughs> that dumb bummer. Doesn't the fool ever use the cruet? There is still the wine. Yeah. On that very morning, I protested to General Vilna. But what shall I do with my shock troops? And what do you think he replied? General, General, there's ladies present. What are they all staring at? Have I done something wrong? I don't know, how that. Has he done anything wrong? The Fiora can do no wrong. No, <laughs> he had a darn good try once in Scunthorpe. Pass the mustard, please. Where's your breathing, Kelly? You don't have mustard with mutton. Ah, that was good, Hock. Delicious. We'll have another drop of Hock, Hock. Good hail. Good hail yourself. <gasps> General, as I was... Where is he? Has he gone out? No, right out. Oh, blimey. Here, he's only had two drinks. He's under the table. Here, look, look, look at look, look. You spurt my big tree, you burgundy. <laughs> Master Master, please. Look what he's done to the tablecloth. Must be a drop of real pea water. Oh, Master Master, please. Oh, that drink's burning my foot. All right, I'll help myself. Who threw that? I you. How could I apologize? Some fool must have loaded the cannon by mistake. A million regrets. Don't mention it. Don't speak of it. And don't do it again. I'll take jolly good care of the don't. Oh, my. They've bundled everything. Oh, Excellency, was there ever such a run on bad luck? It is separate methods of dealing with people who are unlucky. But there is still the balcony. I'm sure you that cannot fail. I hope for your sake it doesn't. See that Baptist Garden is informed that the speech will be necessary after all. Who will tell the Fuhrer all this? I don't know, Herr General. No, you don't know. None of you fools know anything. Three attempts failed. It is incredible. They are waiting for a reply, Herr General. But the Fuhrer is in conference. All right. Tell them they shall have their speech at 2 p.m. I will break it to the Fuhrer now. Oh, and bring Herman with you. <laughs> At two o'clock, you will speak to the people from the balcony. Who, me? Don't be silly. I wouldn't know what to say. You will say nothing. You will hear the Führer's voice. She will act as though it is yours. What, stand there and move my mouth like a ventriloquist dummy? I shall say so. You will be shot if you don't. <clears throat> is, uh, is that the balcony?
am 3. September am Tage des geplanten Friedens Bayern Nürnberg erklärten England und Frankreich Deutschland den Krieg. Die nationalsozialistische Deutsche Arbeiterpartei war gerade im Begriff, sich der Nürnberger Wochenfeier zu widmen. Die Glocken der Altstadt riefen das Deutschtum zum Jahresfeier herbei. Schwarze Konzentration kam von der Fernseher. Not now. But the Schafführer says it is urgent. There is an escaped prisoner here with vital information. What's he talking about? I don't know, sir. Something about the map. Oh, very well. Boys, they're all together. Well, come on, what are we waiting for? Let's go. What about our Führer? We can't let him down. Diese Sprache und diese Sprache allein ist England und Frankreich verständlich. Nur auf diese Weise kann das Dritte Reich den Frieden für die kommenden tausend Jahre versichern. Die Westen und die Sonnen.
something. Get us out of here. Not me. I've done my bit easily. Good luck him. But what about Colonel Blimp? I'll have him first. It's all arranged, my Fuhrer, if you inspect the section of the line. Yes, but the you. men are waiting to welcome you, my Fuhrer. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Going down, the hardware, underwear, anywhere, and cut We have six galleries like this, my Fuhrer. Oh, how clever of you. We really haven't time to see them all. We've got to get back to lunch. Yes, thanks ever so much for having us. But, my Fuhrer, the next gallery is all prepared for your inspection. Oh. What do you think, Herman? All right, one gallery stands before butter. Yes, you? Yes, sir. Below with the general, inspecting the line. Sir, you will inform the general. It is imperative I see him at once. Very good, sir. This is the main communication gallery, my Fuhrer. Very good. Called off one of those things you see on the pier. You know what the butler saw. Oh, yes, Wait a minute, I saw it first. Oh, Anything good? You can't look, my Fuhrer. No, no, thank you, We really must be out game. Cook, you can see for miles. Blimey, we have got the house game. What is it? An officer from the Gestapo is here. He says it's imperative that he should see you. The Gestapo? Yes, they're all upstairs. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. oh I can see it now, poor old Charlie. With a bullet in the trousers and my name spelled wrong in the paper. Tell him that I have a company of the Fuhrer. You'll have to wait. But the general must stop with us, mustn't he? Yes. I, I, I mean, no. You can't keep my Gestapo waiting. Certainly not. We'll be all right. But my Fuhrer. The Fuhrer has broken. Now run along. But Fuhrer. Act on stairs. Bitter. That's a bright light. Shut up, sis. It's the sun. Well, we're giving them the slip anyway. Yes, there's only one thing between us and freedom. What's that? The whole German army. Look. Snipers. Snipers? Yes, you know, soldiers what snoop around and snipe. Shut up, they're coming this way. I'll teach them to make a fool of me. They've done that already. Take me to that communication gallery. Yes? What sort of a tree am I? You're an oak. Oak? Oak is oak. I'm an elm, I know that. Here, the trees of father and mother, I don't know why. If I do, I'm a son of a beast. Oh, cool. Oak, oak, oak. Look out of the trunk. What do we do now? Stand perfectly still.
you in. I told you to pay some stumps. They were stumps? They were men. Seven of them. They attacked me. Seven men? <laughs> Special announcement. A report has just been received of amazing happenings in the Siegfried Line. Something in the nature of an earthquake would appear to have caused panic and wholesale damage. The latest information is that the disturbance is following a definite course towards northern France. It's getting a bit damp, isn't it? It's landing outside. Well, push me off, Lord. Fish it. Charles, if I'm in, we serve me right. That's hey. Where have he got to? You think we're in the bright aquarium? This is the aquarium, it's the sea! Here's yet another report. From a south coast resort comes the news that lampposts and pillar boxes along the main street are sinking into the ground one by one. At the moment, there is... Oh, it's a Boys, we must be in London. London? Service it, bud. Service it. What do we do? Pull everything? We've done that. Push everything. Without kicking balloons. 
So, you've come back, have you? Oh, don't be cross, sir. You'll be awfully pleased in a minute. Silence you. You're all under arrest. You can't do that to us. We're heroes. Who's this? Barney Cofield. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bring all these men in front of me in half an hour's time. What do you want to see us for? To give us our medals? No. 128 days detention. Actors. Engines. Yes. <laughs>